Let's do this! <laughs> You mind if I give you a demo real quick? No, I'll get out of your way. All right, I'm gonna grab the 22 pound and we're gonna chip some stuff up. The size is deceiving. The weight is not, I don't know, it's just not, it doesn't seem, it seems lighter, much lighter than, than you would expect. It's very well balanced. That's nice. We made the 832, which is perfect. I'm adjusting the airlock system exclusively Walt locks on so it won't fall off. I'm going to pair the hammer again. I depress it for one second, pull the trigger, works on a different hammer. We're going to do a patch concrete, epoxy repair, waterproofing application with the bushing bit, and I go to town. New M18 Fuel Pencil Vibrators. This will be the four foot model, also comes in eight foot as well. And let's get you some hands on. So this is our simulated concrete. Okay. Give that a run. Maybe it needs to be refreshed a little bit. It should be pretty close. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How can we see the results? Yeah, so in real concrete, that's a little wetter than this usually, you'll see air bubbles come to the surface. Okay. And what you're doing is you're distributing the aggregate, distributing it evenly, bringing yes. cream to the surface. I was gonna say, really, can, we wait, for, can we wait for this to set up and like strip the form? So this will set up. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this is our brushless HP. So this is an 18 volt HP brushless. Yeah, come on, I want to crash me. That's awesome. It's powerful. You know what, Bobby? I'll save you from doing that. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. It's gonna be all about these tools and all about their power. Yo, this is like, woo! In the previous test, a lot of you said that the DeWalt was consistently going through a knot. To, to give this the best chance, how about this? How about I come on this side? We're gonna put our five pound weight right here on the schnozzle, okay? Bring it to the, to the, to the top there, you know what I mean? Like right there. Once it's started, you're gonna let the, the weight drag the tool through. Once it looks like it's getting to the bottom, just try to catch the tool. We started out with five pounds on our testing mechanism. Let's see how these impact drivers do. They're all full. They're all six amp hour. Three, two, one, go. Vinny, I went so fast, I, I didn't even get a chance. Go. Flex. Three, two, one, go. Walking. Close, real close. That, that was like like a dead heat, that one. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we snapped it off. Ah, that's power. We got a snapper -ooski. And this is Nicholas. I'm super excited to see what you got going on here because I'm a big fan of this power stack battery. What can you tell us about this? This is the drill driver DCD-791. This is a new model coming out in March. So they made it smaller, it's more compact, and it's 40%, 40% more powerful. Yes, power stack, both tapped in, speed two. So we're both fully charged. I'm ready when you are. You calling it? Yeah. All right. On three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm stalled. 
I gotta run that. Am I, can, I, can I try to stall it? Do you mind? Make as many holes as you want. I'm gonna lean into it. Dude, that's a monster! Yeah. Yo, I will say, eight seconds, wait, 8.90 seconds. How does that even work? I don't know the mathematician this and this of that time. It's eight something. But here's the thing. We're talking about Milwaukee's compact drill with a two amp hour battery. Yo, it only went down a single bar. Pretty impressive. Beat that, Jimmy. Beat that. We have 20 of the most common 25 foot tape measures found at your local home improvement store. We took your favorite tape measures and put them through seven scorable categories, including price, features, standout, visibility, durability, and retraction. The scoring criteria was simple. Each tape was tested. All of the scores averaged out. If you were above average, you got a point. Below average, minus the point. If you were at the best in your class, you got an additional point. Worst in your class, you got an additional point minus. Stanley Center Scale Lever Lock has a price tag of $8. Gets a three for features. Has a standout claim of seven feet, delivering 104.43%. 21 and an eighth. Two, endurability. This is the cheaper of the tape measures. Still reads true. Yo. Whoa, he's... It's through. It's more me than the tape. No, no, it's not through. Keep going. There you go. Now it's through. Yo. That thing is fast. We're in Milwaukee's battery technology booth, and I got the new sweetness. It's the new CP 2.5 high output battery. And old news over here, his name is Flint. He's got the old technology, CP 2.0. We got a couple of lag fasteners. Three, two, one, go. This is Chris. You're gonna love this. Tell us all about it, my friend. CCU Plus Anchor stands for Critical Connection Undercut Anchor. Critical connection, why? Infrastructure, bridges, tunnels, critical connections. So these are rated, okay? It's approved for cracked concrete, it's approved for seismic. Awesome. It's the strongest mechanical anchor you can buy. We're going to start off with the pilot hole. Okay. We're using a hollow drill bit. Love it. So this is considered a stop bit. It's got a collar on it. It's very important. This anchor needs the hole drilled just to the right depth. That's awesome. Very important. So we'll start off with the pilot hole. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take a separate drill bit called an undercut bit, also hollow, so it'll collect the dust, and we're gonna carve out the bottom of the hole into basically an upside down V. Okay. So when the anchor sets, this sleeve will hammer it down with a setting tool, and it's going to expand, these splines expand over the cone, and the splines expand into this upside down V we're gonna carve in the bottom. So we undercut and we evacuated the hole all in one step. So we set pretty much the shield. We push that sleeve down and it expanded over the cone. So now it's undercut. You have all this concrete now bearing down against that anchor. We have Gen 3 M12 fuel going up against Gen 4 M18 fuel. Here's the kicker. They're letting me use their newest battery technology. This is their HO 5.0 battery pack. Flint here is gonna be running speed two. I'm gonna be running in speed two as well. Three, two, one, go. We're supposed to be drilling more than one. What, you getting tired already? I'm done already, but you, what are you doing? I didn't know we were gonna no, keep we're going. Going three. Until what? Until the battery pack dies? 
We'll do three in a row then. Why are you always fighting with me? Come on. One. You just had a hot dog in your hand. <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> You asked for him. We got him back again. Nick is here. He's our resident Mercedes-Benz technician. What kind of wrenches do you use on the daily? Tell us how you arrived at. You don't like them, or you didn't like them, or you only, tell us about it. Who knows Milwaukee tools for making hand tools? No one goes around saying, oh, I got my new Milwaukee wrench set. Right, so what you're saying is you like their power tools, when it comes to hand tools though, that wouldn't be the choice that you'd go for. It wouldn't be, no. Okay. I bought 19 to 24 millimeter. In our field, my field, it's what is the go-to. Craftsman wrench, I'm trying to do an alignment. It keeps slipping off the 17 or the 21. We would go from that and then, oh, it's slipping off here. Here's a snap one and it'll just dig into it. It'll bite, it'll break it loose. Gotcha. It'll do anything you need it to do because of their technology on their open end of the wrench. Ego's Power Plus 18 inch chainsaw, 11,000 RPMs for efficient clean cuts, 18 inch bar and chain. It has an auto tensioning system, tightens the chain with a twist of a dial. Milwaukee Tool has ventured to do what I thought was the impossible. Create new generations of hammer drills and impact drivers, make them more compact while making them more powerful. How much power is that really? How much more compact is it really? Because everybody knows as things get smaller, can they really be more powerful? The new M12 Fuel Impact Driver has that five-year limited warranty it has a power state brushless motor. Length is 6.8 inches. Weight is 1.6 pounds. Height is five inches. Width is 2.1 inches. And it has a quarter inch hex. Oddly enough, a height and width is missing from the previous generation specification. But what's not missing is it's 1300 inch pounds of torque rating. Compare that to the new Gen 3, which is 1,500 inch-pounds of torque, which gives you a 13.3333 percentage increase from the previous model. Plus, the new generation has tri-light, which will illuminate your workspace much better. It seems as though it's a good upgrade, but why leave out those other dimensions from the previous generation, which will most likely be on sale real soon. So don't miss out. I don't know where that noise is coming from. It's cause the vacuum's still on. Similar in size to the Bosch is the Waltz. This is a, comp a compact rotary hammer. You don't need that separate battery to run the vac. It runs off the battery on the tool. This DeWalt inch and an eighth rotary hammer delivers 1165 RPM and 4,300 blows per minute with a price tag of
felt like that was a little slower. But we won't know until post. On the screwdriver side, I mentioned the, uh, the tips don't fit. That honestly comes down to the variation, the lack of quality control on the screw manufacturing side of things. No pH2 from one manufacturer to the next is the same. Uh, there's that variation. So how do you try to account for that? With our precision machining, we get that precise fit so you reduce that chance of stripping. Gonna do another demo here with screwdrivers. So we've got 800 pounds loaded up in the steel storage. It's another 400 pounds of steel storage. 1,200 pounds total. What we're gonna try and do is pull this with the competitor. Take ours. Again, torque down. And you've got the ability to pull 1,200 pounds here across this floor. Come on, Eric. has something to do with the ways the wheels are going there, I guess. You wanna conduct these tests and then have us do them as well. I'm not taking no blood oath. Milwaukee is the only screwdriver that can pull this 1,200 pounds. When clearly multiple people demonstrated that the competitor's brand can do it as well. Hilti delivers 777 RPM with 4,500 flows per minute and a price tag of $787. That felt good. We're with the senior product manager, Conrad, of Ego's new zero-turn mower, but what makes this one unique? Uh, well, it's our zero-turn rider with uh, E-Steer technology. You're trying to follow your cut lines, you're trying to get your best mow, right. which everybody is. Ego took the, the, LE, the LCD screen from on the right-hand side and put it right in front of the driver yep. on this unit. Awesome. With the steering wheel Z, yeah, it's, it's like an F1 race car. It's right there, it's in your face. You can make those adjustments on the fly. With the lap bar Z, because it's over there, you have to actually pop the, the bars out, make the change, put them back in. Here, you wanna go a little faster, change your blade speed, change your control modes. You just, you do it while you're, while you're mowing. This feels like you're driving a supercar. Plus, it's like instantaneous power. <clears throat> there's no, there's no waiting for an engine to ramp up or yeah. build torque or anything. It's just like, boom, instant. This is a masterpiece. We don't need a big, bulky, hulking, you know, hedge trimmer. You know what I mean? Like this one here, we don't need that. The 24 inch giving you a larger blade length for more material clearance, with the 18 inch giving you a smaller bar for it easier to maneuver for tighter shaping applications. Thank you, this is my assistant. This is Flint, okay? You might know him from social media, probably you don't, but Thank you for your help, we appreciate you. We can make one, one cut in a one fell swoop. And that's the technical term. We could shape up our sides. And the best part about having this extended reach, I'm so tall, I don't need to bend over anymore to get to my work. Stay tuned, smash the bell, because when you come to the next video, this bush will be shaped like a dinosaur. It's gonna be terrific. We have the foremost expert, Craig, with us to talk about some of the technology baked into Flex Tools. We're here at the, the Recip station here, and this is really demonstrating the, the vibration or the lack thereof. If you're using a Recip all day long, you know, you're demoing you know, walls or whatever you gotta do, the tool really beats you up. Now you're removing 40% of vibration. It won't remove like any like any percentage of the good vibration though, will it? No, no, so and that's the <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> it's keeping the, the, the tool, the business end, doing what it needs to do.
what is going on with skill saw? What, what, what can customers expect? The trend is to remove this cord, not yes. like this, but to put a battery on it. And that is where the future of skill development is focused right now. So this? This is it. Seven and a quarter inch rear handle Cirque saw. This is a beast driven by two five amp hour batteries. It's got an integrated dust port, so you can control exactly where that dust is going and it doubles as a um, your, your auxiliary handle. If there was a measure, a percentage of dust collected, I think that skill would probably lead the pack. I don't have a percentage for you. I can Come say on, Craig, it, does a, guy, it, it does a darn good job at collecting all that dust. So premium performance in our cordless product. Okay. This is to replicate that experience that people have known for you know the last hundred years of worm drive performance now in a cordless product. Since we're here, right here, I can show you. I mean, you're familiar with the bike cut. This is the bike cut. One of my favorite products in here, right? Double up the force by push up a button. I know. That easy. So you can cut this chain with that. Absolutely. Desk. So what I try to do is, not to make a demo here, I'm not a strong guy. So it will take me a long time to cut this, but I still did it without the bike cut. Boom. Change the mode, double up the force, and now, Yeah, that's nuts. I'm not a, I'm even, I'm not even. How easy is that, huh? Yeah, that, that's crazy. What can you tell us what's going on here in case they haven't seen it, Craig? Or we're with Daryl. Daryl, yes. <laughs> How are you? Good, is you this go. your station? This is my station, the station, station of the Flex. I want to see if you're, if you're, if you're, if your contraption is built better than mine. <laughs> I want to just make sure there's no cheating going on here. They're trying to cheat me. This is a full battery. Full, full battery. battery. Full and battery. DeWalt. And DeWalt's using what battery? We're using the power stack against our stack lithium. Okay. And we're look, using our uh, the Milwaukee, what is it, the 18, uh, uh, the M M18. High up. Their Gen 3, this is their XC 6.0. A lot of people believe that this is their, when it comes to their high output battery packs, this allows the most watts out. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. All of their battery packs. So equal weights, eight pound weights for all, for all tests. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. All right, I was I was not in three. Here, let's do that again. Sorry, got to put my eye pro on. All right, and in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. And there you have it. And you can see the wall up the struggle. The flex one. Walk here in a second. I'm a little dejected. living on a rock and you've never met Tool Girl's Garage, <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to have her on the channel hey, right now. So here, here's a question. W what are your thoughts? I, I want to know what you think. I love the lights. So I love the lights. The lights are like a big deal, especially if you're doing anything in small spaces or trying to work in, you know, cramped corners or if, like most of us when you work on a construction site, you don't have lighting yet, right? So I love that. I think that's really good. This is actually really amazing though. Okay. It's a really neat kind of design. It's really cool for like getting into like strange spots too. Big fan of that. Plus it's like lightweight, super powerful. I mean, what more could you ask for? What's not to like? Right? I appreciate the insight. Can I get a shake? She, yes. she left me yes. hanging. Yes. I can't yeah. believe I'm it. I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry. My you were, I, was, hurt. I thought you were just kicking me out. I mean, plus the USB charger. I, I really like that as well. In addition to the light, Ted, I like the light <laughs> stuff. The lights are a big deal. Yes, the lights. Very good. Level up. Level up. Oh, okay. 
Okay, is that the new, is that like the slogan? No, but I like it. Let's oh, go with okay. it. Okay, did I say that? Sure. No, we want to talk, we want to show what we're doing. So they need to know what we're doing. No! I can't believe it! They told me this was gonna happen. They were right, I was wrong. So what we wanted to do was duplicate the test to our best ability. We ran our first test with the bottles as far back as possible on the tools, as close to the motor as we could while still having the bottles on the flattest surface possible. Be aware that the fuel doesn't have orbital action, but the flex reset saw does. So we wanted to see if we could introduce a little bit more vibration in the flex by engaging orbital action on that tool. We couldn't do that with the fuel, doesn't have orbital action. 